Right, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to go about changing the main character in Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards as its own ROM hack. And so a lot of people on my Discord have been asking me about this. Um, you know, just asking like, oh, how do I go, um, you know, edit or change the character within Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. Um, I believe this will also work for the other game, Reshef of Destruction, I think it's called. And so, yeah, I was happy to help. Um, it's quite an easy, relatively easy thing to do once you figure it out. Um, but there isn't a lot of tutorial content out there on how to do it. And so, um, you know, the main way I figured out how to do it was through just, you know, endless internet searching. But yeah, I figured I'd make this video today. Um, so what we're going to be doing, just to plan it all out, is I'm going to be showing you how to change this character. Um, but I'm also going to be showing you how to go about changing it bunch of the other characters as well because this method works with any character within this game you can change it to look however you want but for the purposes of this tutorial we're just going to be swapping it out with a different character and so yeah with that all being said get into it so you'll need a couple of files in order to do this um i've left every single link in the description but what i'll do right now is i'll just go through everything that you'll need in each section that will be going through there's also going to be timestamps in this video if you want to skip to a certain section and you know things like that and so firstly what you're going to need is you're going to need your emulator so this can be any emulator that you want that runs game boy advanced games i personally like the visual boy advanced the only one with this is that you may have to change some of the key bindings since they're quite, kind of weird to begin with and so i use the visual boy advanced um, on top of that, you're also going to need the games. Um, I'm going to use you go the Sacred Cards for this. Um, you can use other games for this, but it might require some other steps. But I know for sure that these two games will work. And I'm also going to leave a link in the description to where you can get these games. Usually not meant to do this, but I'll put the links in there anyway. So um, I'd, I'd rather people go to like a nice trusted site than to end up getting a virus. So I'd, uh, I'm gonna leave some sites that um, you can go to to get these these uh, ROMs that are, that are safe. And so on top of that, you got your graphics card editor. Now this will be YYCHR. This will be the main program that we're gonna be going and using. When you open it up, um, it'll look like this. Might look a bit um, intimidating first, you know, first time looking at it, but we're gonna be breaking down how each section of this works what each part of it is used for and how you can go about utilizing it. And so past here, we have also got the patcher and the patcher is dead simple. All it is, is if you're planning on distributing this um, ROM hack that you're going to make, uh, you know, if you want to send it to a friend, something like that, um, instead of sending the ROM, what you can do is you can take the altered code from a ROM and you can put it into its own file, I believe it's an IPS file. And then using um, a patcher file, which this one's really good, I'll leave this one in the description as well. Uh, through using a patcher file, you can go and do two things. You can either go and, you know, get it so that you can patch a file so that you can get the contents from a Game Boy Advance game out. So, you know, you're getting the edited content out of the file and making it into an IPS file. Or you can go and take the IPS file, the ROM hack that you've made, and put it onto an unedited um, version of, say, you give the sacred card. So hopefully that makes sense. So you can either put it onto the unedited version if you're looking to give it to a friend, um, or you can go and, you know, take out the edited content and then keep that as its own file. And so, yeah, finally, the last thing we've got is the edited ROM file. This is just for the sake of keeping the folders clean since there's quite a few different files that you'll need. Um, the edited ROM file is just like oh, a place to like keep the um, the edited like file that you've done so you don't get it mixed up with the clean game as it were, the unedited vanilla um, version of say you do the sacred cards. And so yeah, with that all, all out of the way, we're going to jump into, I believe it would be best to jump into YYCHR first. Um, this is the graphics editor, and we'll be jumping into this, and I'll be breaking down how it all works, how each one of these sections work, and uh, how you can go and use it to edit your sprites. All right, so now we're in the YYCHR program. 
um, all you want to do is go to file, uh, just get rid of this, go to file, open, and you're going to see uh, if you go on games, sacred cards, and um, this is where you want to open up your ROM, your game, your .gba file as it were. And so once you've uh, gone and opened this, uh, what you want to do next is start to scroll down through here. Now, what you'll notice is two things. Uh, first thing you'll notice is that as you scroll down, you'll start to see all the characters. This is good. This is what we want. And um, the other thing you'll notice is that the colors seem a bit weird. And this is one of the big drawbacks to doing uh, graphics editing in the uh, Game Boy Advance. Something that I haven't really figured out how to deal with yet. But it's something that I think might have been a limitation of its time. And so what do I mean by that? So basically what's happening here is that every single um, sprite, every single character within this has their own color palette, right? The colors that make up that character. So, you know, with our guy over here, that would be like blue, uh, your reds and oranges, so your black and then your white. And so um, what we're gonna do is in order to be able to find this guy is that we're gonna have to look for him through here and all I'm doing right now is just mouse scrolling. And so you're just gonna go through here until you find him. And this is the guy, the main character right here. And so now that we've found the guy, what we wanna do is we wanna find the right um, palette for him. And so to find the right palette, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our emulated game and we're gonna to want to have the main character in frame over here. And we're gonna to want to go to emulation tools and um, palette viewer. Now at the palette viewer, you can see that we got the palette over here. And all we want to do is we want to save Sprite. And when you save Sprite, it's going to come up as a .pal file. Now, this is why I like Virtual Boy Advance because it has this feature that you can easily use. And so all you want to do now is just go and save it. I already made this previously, so all we need to do it's just go and replace it or just add it if you haven't made it before. And then with that, we're all done here. And so the next thing we want to do is reopen your YYCHR graphics editor. And here you're going to want to go to palette, uh, open RGB palette.pal, and then find the .pal file that we made just before. Double click it. And as you can see, we've got the right colors now. And so the last thing we need to do um, in order to get everything to be nice and uh, sorted for us to start editing is that we want to kind of like um, start to because the the alignment of the character is a little bit off and that can easily be fixed by going to these bytes over here and just clicking them for a bit there we go so it takes a few clicking but uh, you eventually get there and the goal is to get the um, the character perfectly within this left frame. And now that we've gone and done that, the next thing to think about is um, kind of like copying and pasting another character to go fill in to, to overwrite this character. So that when we boot up the game with the edited ROM, um, you'll have your new character there. And so what we can do is we can scroll up and we can find a character that looks right. And as you can see here, um, the palette's still abiding to it, right? So no matter what you do, this palette's going to stay the same. And so you want to find a character that kind of doesn't look too crazy. So this one will do. You know, we can find a character like this. Um, if you find that the scroll wheel is going too far and it's like making it out of frame no matter what, you can just press this button and then it can line it nicely. So we'll go for something like this. And in order to copy and paste all of it, what we want to do is we want to make the square that we're working with bigger. And the way we can do that is through going down to here to the 32 times 32 and putting it on 128 times 128, the full size of the sprite area. And you can see that it's captured the full size, um, if I could speak, the full size of the sprite area with um, it capturing it on the right here. As you can see here, it starts to narrow down. See, the uh, square is where the right pitch is going to show. And this is going to be really good if you want to make your own custom sprites, which I'll talk about in a bit.
And so, yeah, just go to 128 by 128. It's captured that entire image. And then from there, you want to go to edit and copy. Now that that's done, you can see it's sticking to that since that's what it's copied. And we want to find our main character again. And so we just go scroll down for a bit until we find our, our boy. Um, here he is. There we go. And a little trick that you can use with this is that if you use the mouse scroll wheel, everything will remain in line with each other. Um, if you're using the up and down bits here, then things might be a little bit off and there might be a bit of jumping in the sprite animation. So as long as you use the scroll wheel after you've copied your sprites, then you usually find if that makes sense. And so now that you've done that, all you want to do is go back to edit and then go to paste. And as you can see, it's replaced the sprite with this new version here. So now this character here doesn't exist anymore, um, at least in the new version we're going to make. And uh, it's been replaced with this, uh, I think it's my Valentine um, been replaced by. And so, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Um, you don't have to patch the file after this if you just want to keep the file. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the whole thing done. Now, if you wanted to make your um, own sprites, then that is actually very possible within this program. And so do you remember before when I mentioned about this uh, bottom part over here? Well, what we can do is we can make it 32 by 32 and um, the size of an individual sprite. And we can go over any single one of these animation sprites that we'd like and we can begin to edit it if we wanted to. And as you can see on the right here, we've got all our tools. So we got our brush, we got our fill, a paint bucket, a rectangle, our line tool, all kinds of things like that, eraser, things like that. And so down here, excuse me, uh, down here on this first row here is the only one that we're concerned about right now. And if you go to say this one here, I believe, you can start to change the sprite. And you can also control Z if you don't like it. So as you can see, I can make anything that I want. And so if you're a pixel artist, um, if you enjoy making sprites, things like that, then this might be a really cool tool to make your own custom character, or at least edit this so it looks a little bit more normal, it matches the colors a bit better, and things like that. Um, and the background should always remain green, or whatever color it is by default when you import the, the uh, .palette file. The reason for that is that this is the dead space, which you don't want to be touching, so that's the dead space that um, isn't... How do I say this? That isn't um, showing anything. So you want to leave this the same color. And um, anything you want to add, you can start to add from the character here. And so with that all in mind, what we can do now is now that we've copy and pasted our character over real easy, um, we can just go to File, Save As. You want to make sure that you want to make sure that you're making a new version so you can distinguish it from the clean vanilla game. So Save As, and then if you remember the folder we made before, the edited ROM, you can go and then, um, you know, save it there. I made one before and I just needed it edited so I could tell them apart from each other. And so, yeah, just save that. And then that's pretty much it. And so from there, what we can do is we can go and go to file, um, open, and then we can go and find our edited ROM here, the GBA file that we just saved and we can double click it. And then now, if we just skip through some of this, um, see if I can remember these controls. There we go. Had to make a bit of a cut there because I couldn't figure out how to how the controls worked. So <laughs> apologies about that. But yeah, um, so we've gone and done that now. And uh, I'm just gonna skip past this dialogue. And as you can see now, we've got our new character and this works perfectly now. Right, so looking nice, move up and down and all this. Um, and faster things like that and so yeah that's pretty much it um nice and easy nice and easy tutorial uh you know nothing much to it and so if you wanted to you could uh, end the video now and uh yeah that's pretty much it but if you wanted to figure out how to patch this file then we'll do that as a little uh, bonus just to just for the sake of showing you how to do it all right so for the last part 
Uh, we're just going to be going and applying the patch to our file in case you wanted to have it as a, our own uh, patched file that we can go and uh, give to a friend, put on a website, things like that. And so what we can do is we can use this file here, which as I mentioned, everything in this video will be in the description. Uh, but you just want to double click this and then you want to uh, go on create IPS patch. And um, we'll talk about the apply IPS patch in a second. But yeah, go on the right one here ips patch and what we're looking for is the original unmodified file the vanilla version that's why we made two files you see. and so what we can do is we can go to games our game and we can go to the vanilla unedited version and then now we've done that it'll come up again and it'll say select new modified file to make the one where we made where we changed our character and so we just want to go to our edited rom and then double click that and then now it's going to come up again and it's going to come up and say, where do you want to save your new IPS patched file? And you can save that wherever you want. I'll just save it here. And then that'll be saved there and it'll say it's successfully created. Cool. So now, as you can see over here, we've got our IPS file. And let's say you gave this to a friend and they're wondering like, oh, how can I go about applying this to my game to change this um, graphics edit that I've done? Well, all they'd need to do is go to the patcher, um, open up the Lunar IPS patcher, and go to Apply IPS patch. And all you want to do is you want to find your IPS file, this one here, double click it, and then you want to select your file to patch. And that would be the vanilla um, sacred cards game that your friend or whoever you send it to would have. And then you double click that. And then it'll say it's successfully patched. And then now if you were to reopen the um, the file that you've patched it to, it will come up with the new version with uh, the woman in it instead. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, the, uh, the this is something that I wanted to do for a while. I just didn't have a lot of time to do it. And so I'm happy to do it now. But um, as always, if anyone has any questions, if I went past anything too fast, uh, if there's anything that wasn't clear, then feel free to comment me in the, in the YouTube comments and um, just ask, um, you know, if you missed anything or if anything wasn't clear or anything like that, then I'll be happy to answer. And so, yeah, with all that being said, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.